Yeah, well, each each has had some success with uh, Blevins, and he's also kind of basically hit lefties better his whole career. So uh, you never really worried about you know each um, you know with the lefty and, and Yelly kind of the same really. Yelly hits lefties and righties. You don't really worry about him either. You you like him up there. That's why you're not really tried afraid to move the runners because you know they're going to pitch around G. But you got to get through Yelly and then Ozuna. So. Uh, yeah, so that was good. But I mean, I think the game really, JB's hitting the first, and then Mart, you know, getting this, get three in the first, getting it back after they they get the lead off homer. Um, I thought Riddle's play was kind of game changing when the, on the when they they hit the home run to tie it. And it looks like they got something going a little bit, and he makes that play up the middle to, to get us out of that, and then that's when we bounce back and get the run. So uh, it was. Kind of key swings right there for us, and we're able to add on. It was nice. You haven't been waiting for Yellis for a long time to kind of get going this season. Are you, are you a little more patient with him as a manager based on just his history as a hitter? And... Yeah, Yellis can just hit. I mean, it's not like Yellis has been, you know, he never looks bad, really. He's just not, if he's not getting his hits, you don't really think that Yellow Yellis, he's lost or anything like that. Um, I think the days off were good for him. Honestly, you know, he gets, get, I think we wore him down pretty good, and and just weren't didn't get him out of there quite quite quick enough, probably. But it's a good lesson for me to maybe get him a day here and there. So uh, it was good to see him bounce back. You, you talked about Riddle and that defensive play. Obviously, a good game for him. He gets the extra base hit. He gets a couple of knocks. He, you know, shows great defensive play. Yeah, it was good to see it, you know, especially today when, you know, you trade a guy like Etch, who you know is a, you know, just premier defender and a guy that that has been here for a long time. Um, you know, it basically the organization says that, you know, you like this kid and, and he's been struggling. Uh, so for him to get a couple of hits, uh, I think is good for his confidence. Defensively, he's, nothing's really changed. So that's what we talked about before is that uh, one thing you like, you know you get the same kid every day. And defensively, offense is not doesn't transfer to the field, and so we we knew he could count on that, and that's really what you're worried about at that position. How would you describe each row in this uh, late in his life role as a pinch hitter? Uh, he's pretty good at it. You know, the the thing about each, you know, he's always ready, and you just don't ever worry about him. He's he's just totally prepared for all situations, and I think that's the thing that you know if it's you put him in a game late, uh, if you start him one day. You know, his, he's he's going to be ready, and so for each to kind of you know, try to match him up right, but sometimes you really don't get that opportunity. You, you know, if you get too much power or whatever, but um, each this guy, you always feel good when he's up there. This team's really a tough one to leave behind them. They're finding ways to win, especially a game like tonight. What have you kind of noticed about just that sense of resilience? Well, it's just confidence for me. It's you know, maybe I've talked about May so many times. Um, you know, that's just a beat down when you're just losing and losing and losing mentally. It just wears you out. And uh, I think it takes a little while to get that out of your system. And I think now we've we've put a you know pretty good stretch together. We're playing pretty good baseball. We're playing, you know, pretty much head up with anybody we play. And so I think the confidence really is back and, and we're finding out if that we can score. You know, guys are putting up some numbers. Um, and if our, you know, if our guys can keep us in the game, you know, early, it seems like we're in every game. At that point, we have a good chance to win them. Has uh, Australia's control been better over the last month or so than it was earlier in the year? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't realize kind of game to game with him, but he's he's been fine tonight. Just a lot of pitches to get where he got. Um, you know, it was just the right time. He felt like he could have went back out, but. For me, with the two lefties coming there, it just didn't make any sense. His ability to minimize has really kind of been there. You know, get well, that's the thing, thing about Dan. He's going to keep making pitches. He's going to keep pitching. So and he's going to continue to try to change speeds. Uh, and again, he, he did minimize a lot of a lot of you know long at bats, a lot of three two counts tonight. Uh, I thought we thought a call could have went our way on uh, uh, their their pitcher there the second time through. Which cost him probably twelve to fifteen pitches, which changes his whole outlook and possibly, you know, being in a position to even go another inning. Uh, 
but even with that, he keeps pitching. He got a couple big outs with Cespedes. Uh, he got out of some jams that that could have been could have been worse. Uh, D's play on the plate is only that sort of obviously comes up big because if you don't get him there, they probably score. Uh, does it help you know that moment? No, it, it does a big play, and you know we were kind of scrambling to get out of an inning, and even with that, I, I'm not quite sure. You know, I, you don't know if he's safe or out. Then you're looking at the second play. Uh, at the, you feel like play at the plate. Uh, it's one of those if you go to replay and he's safe over there, they probably let him score because he kept coming and you got to keep playing. Uh, so that was, you know, a lot going on there. But uh, obviously that was a big out for us. Well, you meant, but you know, just continue to play as if it's still going. Obviously yeah, you have to. Yeah. yeah, their guy keeps running. Uh, if, if they change that call, that guy's running hard, then they're going to. They got. They can position the runners, so they're going to make a decision for you if he scores or not. And that's where we've talked about JB and JT, making sure they continue to play there and play that play out. Uh, so you, you don't take any chances.